Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a City. If you last, if you missed last episode, sorry, it doesn't surprise me. That video was put out on Christmas Eve. So obviously, I expect most of you guys were busy on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. If you haven't watched it, I recommend going checking it out either before you watch this one or after you watch it with someone. It's not going to really affect anything because we didn't build anything last episode. We just got to check out a few things that I had installed uh, for that episode for maybe the upcoming year of this city. Uh, we can modify it and change some stuff and just generally make it better. Uh, we installed a, a road mod here which gives us a load of different road sort of materials, which is really nice. But a bonus of that is that we can actually make ramps out of these. So instead of going up like, uh, I don't know, uh, the highway, you know, we go up every half slab, we can actually make smooth gradient ramps now, which is really, really cool. Uh, we also got like red ones and blue ones. There's some colors I'm never going to use. Uh, but the red one I found quite interesting because... Uh, here in the UK, some bus lanes are that sort of pinky reddy colour, uh, as well as cycle lanes. And we can make a really cool skate park out of these, because if I show you just very quickly, because uh, this isn't what this episode is meant to be about, but these actually join up in this sort of ramp sort of way, so we could make like a skate park, do you know what I mean? Like, like with the grinding rails and stuff like that. Really, some really uh, cool ideas sort of were popping into my head. And since that episode, since Christmas Eve day, uh, I've been thinking about it. And I've come up with some more awesome ideas on how we can incorporate that. Uh, as well as the sort of full blocks, you know, and the half blocks and sort of these step blocks. Uh, we've also got a load of lines as well. So we can actually put letters on our road so we can write school in the road, in the school zone, or bus lane, if we want. Very, 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 very cool. Uh, and a disabled handicap parking spot, which I wanted to design myself. I want to have my own block for it. But if I've now got a mod that's already got it pre-built, then why do I need to do anything? It just saves me some time, doesn't it? So yeah, we were checking out those. There's some arrows and some cycle lane um, icons and stuff like that. That was really cool. And then I did also install uh, Soggy Mustache Transportation. Which just, I basically only got for one reason, that's the snowmobile. So we can actually ride up and down our snow mountain up in the distance on an actual snowmobile. Uh, it's also got some bicycles and stuff like that, which will be great in the um, skate park, which I'm sure we'll do now though, that we've got sort of ramps. It works out really well. And a forklift would be perfect for the port. Hey, put some forklifts uh, around there. So yeah, go and check that out. I'm sure you guys will uh, enjoy it and like it. And uh, today we're going to check out the cathedral, continue on with the cathedral. Uh, we've got the east, west and south wing, or where, what way is this? Oops. Uh, the north, east and west wing uh, to do today. They're all going to be pretty much the same, especially these two. Uh, that end one sort of got a door and a little bit of a builder connecting onto it. So we'll have to modify it slightly, but there shouldn't really be too much for us uh, to have to change here. Now, on the cathedral... I'm going to try and fit in two, maybe three large windows in here. I think that'd be nice if we sort of continue on this sort of design that we've got going on, but only, uh, but just taller. Uh, I think we'll be off to a really good start. I think we want a nice big pillar on the end here. So I'm going to extend this all the way up to the top and this all the way up to the top. Ooh, all the way up here. And then if I go up just a little bit higher, I'll know that I, I won't forget it then. Something like that. See how those ones sort of have that sort of uh, that top on it. That's what I want over here. Then we need this line certainly coming down here. And then the next window could potentially start from this point onwards. We need to do a sort of blocking wall here. We don't want anything connected to those cobblestone walls. Or window there, if you know what I mean. So that can go up there. And then how have we done these? We've got, like, our block. I think I sort of want to continue that design, but just taller. So if we had that one, the window then starts here. How tall do we want these windows? We've got a lot of room. Uh, we can basically go as tall as we want with these. I reckon that's a pretty good height. And I think we stick with three blocks wide, right? I think three blocks wide is sort of the uniform uh, distance for us here. So that'll be one window. Oh, and I could, I should 
probably move it over by a block as well, right? Cut. And, hey piggy! How, are you doing okay? Good. Uh, there, then that one goes in. And then is it here? I could probably just paste it again. Sorry piggy. I'll save you. And then I'll kill you again. There, and can I fit another one in? Oh, it's possible if I remove these two and put it here. No, it's really not. I can only fit two. If I can only fit two windows in then, I might as well make that window a little bit wider, right? Uh, and make it like four blocks wide in total. Take that one away and then go down like that. Have this one come up here. And we'll stick with the two windows. It's definitely more than uh, what we need. So we'll have that coming down here. I think our windows are a pretty good height as well. It might make be nice to use brown stained glass instead of uh, white stained glass on this section as well. We've used brown on those uh, ones over there. So maybe the brown will look good here. I'm never a fan of it, but I might be able to convince myself that it'll look okay. <laughs> Potentially. And we'll come up here as well. All right, uh, we want this line coming across the top. And I think I've got a little bit of a line to do down here. Yeah, like that. Now, do I want this to connect up to there? I don't think I do. Not at the moment, at least. And then we've got a little bit of dead space here. Uh, to be honest, it's very close to these sort of overhang sections anyway. So we can just fill that with the stone bricks and the same above here. And then maybe we can fit some, some detail in there. It would be nice if we could continue up another pillar that went up here. Keep it in line. Like that. So we sort of have those, that, that sort of double pillar. Look, I said a different height, but I don't need to worry about that. Just for the moment. And then how do the tops of these go? I want to keep this sort of design going. We need some stairs. And the stairs sort of go between. Hmm. I'm going to have to do it like, either like that or like that. I think I like that one best. That one, that one. And then we've got the edge of the building there. I can't really do too much more about that at the minute. Uh, we want these stairs to go in upside down here. And then we have two blocks on top. Like that one. And like that one. All right, so the pattern is pretty much continued now. Uh, I can fit it. I don't want to fit any windows in here, but I do think that we can get some sort of slabs in here in a similar sort of design to that, but not exactly the same. Maybe we extend them a little bit longer. Oh, that fits in really well. Or do we start off at the same, like start off high and end high? I don't... I, this is weird. Like it... It looks sort of correct from... Oh, that window should be bigger. It looks sort of correct. Maybe this will just help if we actually build this part right. Uh, something just seems to be like a block out almost. Like that. Okay, that certainly helps. Um, maybe this should be continued on. We'll put a wall down here to fill up that void. And a wall should probably go down here as well. Whoops. Okay, now we're looking more even. Uh, we want these across the top. I'm going to have to cut into that section. And then... That pillar would be here. Like that. And then the stairs go on here. I don't know if I'm 100% sold on this yet. But these those three pillars are now perfectly sort of uh, uh, spaced out to each other. Let's continue on. We can always change it if we, if we really don't like a part of it. And then do that. It's so annoying that it's uh, an odd number. That's what's really uh, annoying me here. But if we try and use that to our advantage... 
maybe we can get something to work. Uh, that one and that one. No, don't like it. That one and that one. Ooh, I think I like that. That's sort of a, a more of an embellished sort of design going on there. I think I like that. And then with the roof on top, I think you'll be surprised. Uh, let's get some brown stained glass here. Notice I said it correctly. I didn't say brown stained clay like I normally do. Uh, 160, 12. I don't know why I always say brown stained clay. I, it must be that I use clay more often than, uh, than glass. 160, 12. Oh yeah, I think I do like that. And then we want to have something like this. To keep that sort of uniform. Cool. Yeah, that's it. Oops. Like that. I don't want the cobblestone walls going up the side. I think I like the walls a little bit more cleaner. But potentially we can make this a little bit thicker. By doing that. And it makes it look like the windows are set in a little bit further back. Uh, that one and that one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's helped a lot. Uh, maybe we could even fit in a slab there, there, there. Oh. Not... Eh, it'd, be, it'd be right there. No, just on those two then. On the middle two. Would a chiseled brick look good in there? That one, not the monster egg one. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want the whole castle bursting into silverfish. <laughs> can, can you imagine it? <laughs> it all breaks down. Okay, no, that's that's nice. Okay, so that'll be the same, exactly the same on the other side, uh, and obviously on the other one. So I don't need to worry about doing the other side. Uh, on this front side, I want to have some smaller windows and a nice big circle one. I think so. Let's find a, a, a rough middle point here. About there, I think. And then we do a nice big circle around here. As big as we can get. So let's go five blocks out. One, one two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we make this into a circle. We've done one on the front, but we were quite limited on space on the front. This one, we've got uh, a quite a lot more room. So I'm hoping that we can get in a pretty big circle. This might actually be the same size, in fact. I've got, it feels approximately the same size. We'll have to have a look in a bit. And like that. Right, so there's the circle that goes in there. That looks really nice. Uh, I want to embellish that a little bit, make it sort of pop out a little bit more with some uh, stairs potentially and stuff like that. Uh, I want to have a break in here. So maybe that is the embellishment. Is that... Oh, no, not on this one. On that one. And a block down. Oh, yeah, maybe we could do it like that. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm getting some ideas. I'm getting some ideas. And then below here is where we want the windows. Now, there's some spots that we don't want windows at all. Like right here. We don't want the window to go right up against that pillar. And the same on this side. But anything between these two zones, we can. Now, we're working with an odd number here. So, we definitely either want a window here or the break between two windows. Let's put the window here. And we want to go up not right that high. I think that height is probably good for these ones. And then, could I do one here? I could. So we have one there. And here. And then we get the stone bricks to go up and fill these sort of pillar spots. Over the top of that one. Alright, alright, alright. Now... Uh, white stained glass for in here, which I think is just 160. Replace uh, with just 160. Beautiful. Uh, I don't need to worry too much about that because that's going to be copied when I when I flip it uh, initially. Uh, up here, we definitely don't want this to have anything in there. And the same over here. 
uh, we want the pretty much the rest filled up with just stone. I mean, maybe we could fit some small windows in here, like that and like, oops, like that. I know I done we we done something similar like this on the front. Maybe we should use that on the sides as well. And fill these ones in. Do I like that one there? Probably. Yeah, like a little pyramid thing. And then I think we'll do white in the main circle uh, as well. So let's go around this part now. Fill all these zones in so we can actually uh, emboss the window a little bit. Get some uh, circle, uh, get some stairs and some slabs uh, to make it look like it's sticking out a little bit more. And a cobblestone walls, cobblestone slabs, those kind of things will help as well. These ones, that one. Part five. Part five of this cathedral. It's not going to be too much longer now. In fact, I think we'll probably... There'll probably be like maybe eight episodes total. Something like that. Let's just take a quick look at the front here. We could do that iron bar and black design on some parts as well to fill some spaces with. Oh, it's down here. Yes, we used these ones. Is what we used to go around the outside. And then we had some sort of slabs and stuff like that in there. I think... <clears throat> I want to do... A filled spot. Let's go, let's go with this first. Let's do this first. So we want the full blocks on those bits, those bits, those bits, and those bits. And then, do we want full? Oops. Do we want full blocks in here, or did we just go with the stairs? I think we just went with the stairs because if we use the full blocks, it looked way too chunky. Yeah, that's right. So we have that one, that one, and that one, and that one. That one, and that one. That one, that one, and that one. Alright then. Uh, again, I'm going to do a reminder for you guys, so you don't forget. I'll do another reminder, hopefully, if I remember at the end of the episode. If you missed last episode, I recommend going out and checking it out, because we uh done some stuff that will be put into fruition uh, during the beginning of uh, January, the beginning of the new year. Uh, you know, using some new mods, some new road stuff to sort of really update our world and push it a little bit further. So uh, if you haven't already checked that out, I really, really recommend that you do put a reminder on yourself on your phone or something like that uh, to go and check it out. And if you have any ideas during that episode on what we can use some of the blocks for and some of the sort of ramps and stuff like that, uh, then let me know as well because I'll be really, really interested uh, in hearing some of the really cool ideas that I'm sure you guys can come up with that I just don't think of uh, you know, I think I've come up with some uh, with everything possible, and then well, I'll get like a bunch of comments saying you should do this as well, or this would look good, and I'm like, oh yeah, how come I didn't think of that? So I always do read the comments, I always do try and act on them. I have a whole list of stuff that I want to do in this city, and hopefully that list is only going to grow with uh, with your new ideas constantly coming in. I like that. Let's grab the slabs to go in some spots as well i think like there and there and then i want some more towards the center yeah no i think that's nice we've got a little slot potentially down the side here like that with some iron bars one block more down mm, no Now, what does that go to? That goes to, like, the second stair. I can't go up to the second stair, then. We'll just go to there. The same on this side. I've got a feeling that, like, I'm one block out or something. No, 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 that's good. Uh, we want the nice black to go behind these. And the roof is super... Ooh, the roof is super simple because it's just... Um, the dark oak stairs, there's no corners that we need to worry about. It's just a straight shot, so that I can do uh, off camera. Oops. Like that. Okay, uh, any cobblestone walls or anything like that? I think yes, along the top of these. Uh, yeah, to there. Uh, we want to have the slab... Uh, and stair thing at the bottom. 
to match all the other windows around the place. And I think that's pretty much it. Oh, ooh. I could have this going along the top of this as well. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, that looks all right. So, uh, I need to do the other wall on the side and the roof. I'll do that, and I shall be back. All right. Here's where the magic, hopefully, happens. I need to select that point. And I need to select this point. It's already selected there. Excellent. Now, I need to come up to the top. Stand on this quartz. Copy. Flip north. And paste. Sweet. That went better than expected. Uh, <laughs> it looks all even to me. So now what I need to do is I need to come out. I need to set the whole thing. Now, point number two is already down there. So point number one needs to be out here. Now, I need to find a spot that I can replicate easily. So I think if I break this one, copy, it should be about... 13,000 blocks. Okay. Uh, rotate by 90 degrees. Come over here and paste it. I always get nervous about this bit. Okay. Everything looks like it's gone pretty well. Now, this side is the only side that needs to change. These two windows will be removed. This one because obviously the building comes out here. And this one because that's meant to be a doorway. Uh, I want to have a doorway into this sort of uh, courtyard-ish area. And then we can remove these ones. And I think that looks really, really neat, right? We've got this side as well. Everything looks pretty good, so I should be able to rotate it again and jump onto this one. Based here. I forgot I, I forgot if I had rotated it or not then. Okay, and then we're going to have the same thing to do here, yeah. With these ones. I think that looks pretty good. Those windows don't need to change at all. Anything that needs to be edited on this side, it shouldn't do, because it should be the same as the other side. I think we're pretty good, right? Yeah! So, we've only got the main tower, or, or the, you know, the middle tower to do, and the sort of uh, add-on part. And then the exterior to the cathedral itself is complete. Obviously, we've got graveyards and stuff to do uh, around the side, mausoleums. But that's looking pretty cool, right? Yeah! If you guys enjoyed it, then hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode.